Hi there YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to another YouTube special episode and today we're gonna be show you how to make an eye-catching thumbnail for your YouTube videos. For making my YouTube thumbnails, I usually use the Adobe Photoshop CC and I know most of us are familiar with a Photoshop interface. So let's say it will become more easy than I expect. Before starting, I will show you a couple of example thumbnails that I made with my Photoshop. Have a look. I know you're wondering about where did I get those copyright free images on my thumbnails and where did I get those fonts and steps and maybe a couple of other few questions and doubts are passing to your mind as well. Don't worry, it's all natural. Even I have questions more than you when I was a beginner at the YouTube community. I will definitely answer those questions later on this video. So let's start. First of all, you're gonna wanna launch your Adobe Photoshop, no matter which version you have, but I recommend to use the latest version. Now we are here on the Photoshop CC, so go to the top left side and click on File Menu and choose New. Let's name this project as Thumbnail Project. You can name it whatever you want or even leave it untitled and make sure you choose clipboard as your preset then you're gonna want to select pixel from here and set your project width to 1920 and the height to 1080 which is a full HD resolution you can always change it to higher or lower resolution as your preference normally I use 1080p resolution for creating my YouTube video thumbnails now you want to set the color mode to RGB color and select 8 bit from here then make sure the background content set as transparent then click on OK and before we begin, I would like to share some non-technical tips with you. Or rather, I would like to mentally prepare you for a thumbnail creation. It may sound crazy, but it will help you a lot to concentrate more on your creation. So the tip number one. Once you're on the Photoshop or any other photo editing software with the intention to create a thumbnail, the first thing you want to do is think about your video for a few seconds. Tip number two. Think what's your video all about and what is it trying to share with others. Tip number three. Visualize what picture and color are passing through your mind when you're thinking about your video at the first time. Tip number four, try to create a simple imaginary snap of that particular thumbnail on your mind. Or think how you can describe your entire video in just one thumbnail. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but it is a million dollar secret behind every successful thumbnails. And one more final tip, the tip number five, the thumbnail should be simple, clear and accurate. Just make sure it will describe your entire video in just one snap. This are the key point to make not just an eye-catching thumbnail but also an awesome one. So first plan an idea and bring it to life. But the truth is most of us are end up with a blank mind just like our Photoshop background. But yet you don't worry, you can do it. Ok let's start. For example let's see how we can make a thumbnail for a video call how to make money online. First of all let's choose a color for the background, move your mouse to the toolbar and right click on the gradient tool. And choose paint bucket tool from here, now you're gonna wanna select a color from here. Let's choose green. You can choose whatever color you want instead of green. Then just click anywhere inside the background. Now the color is applied to the main background. Now go to the filter menu, render and pick lightning effect. Here you can bring the light effect to your background and the default lightning effect type here is pointer. You can change it to either spot which is used to spot the light into a particular spot of your background or the infinite type which is used to change the light proportion everywhere on your background with the same amount of light. But I mostly use pointer type lightning on my thumbnails. Now you can play around with these settings until the background looks good. You can try different combinations of these lighting settings as well. Now we are almost complete editing the light effects. So let's click OK. Now we'll show you how to draw a shape. Actually we need to draw a triangle as an additional background for our headline. So let's do it. Go here and right click on the tool and choose rectangular tool. Now go to the color section and choose an appropriate color and then draw the shape. You can bring your custom customization and use your imagination to create more great things. Now click on the move tool or hit V key on your keyboard as a shortcut for move tool and then right click on the shape layer from the layer section and choose blending option. Here you can customize your object in many ways but we are here to reduce the opacity of the shape layer to make it transparent. So let's do it. Now you can see the slow changes happening to the shape layer, it's getting transparent. So stop.
file. If you don't familiar with the zip file type, don't worry. Just download and install a program called WinRAR. It is free and after installing, right click on the zip file and choose extract here. Then it will extract out the actual form for you just like this. So if you want this program, I'll put a link below in the video description so you can download it from there as well. Now double click on the font file and click on install. Then go to your Photoshop and select the text. Now go to the font section and search for the new font that we just installed now and click on it now let's reposition this text if you want you can change the font size as well now let's spice it up by adding some image to the thumbnail and make it look attractive so first let's see how to get royalty free image for getting those free to use image i usually use google image and pixabay.com so first let's see how to get royalty free image from the google image just go to google image and search for the image you want for example let's search for money now click on this gear icon here then go for advanced settings now you will get to this page scroll all the way down and look for an option called usage right now click on here and change the usage right to free to use share or modify even commercially option then click on advanced search that's it now you will only gonna see the free to use images you can use these images on your youtube thumbnail youtube video projects or any other commercial or non-commercial projects now you can simply search and download hundreds and thousands of images you want just like this now I will show you my second source pixabay.com here you can get only high quality images just go to pixabay.com and create an account you can create an account by the traditional way using your email or you can just sign up using your facebook account as well after signed in just search and download any image you want for example let's download this image for our project and after downloading go to the download location and drag this image to your photoshop project but unfortunately this image don't have a transfer background so first let's change its background to a transform background or you can download an image with the transform background you know I already know that that this image doesn't have a transform background and the reason why I choose an image with a non transform background is only to show you how to even convert an image with the normal background to a transform background image if this image already have a transform background then normally it will become easy and quick to finish this thumbnail so let's start remove the normal background from this image and add it to a transform background layer for that you need to start a separate project on your photoshop by just drag this image to a blank space and drop it somewhere like this now we are on the new project and you can see the original thumbnail project is right next to it now go to the layers tab and right click on the background layer and select duplicate layer from here now the duplicate layer has been created now you can delete the original layer by just select the layer and click on delete now select the duplicate layer and go to the toolbar now right click on this tool and choose use magnetic laser tool now you need to mark the whole project with this tool carefully let's start marking click somewhere near the edge to start marking and move your mouse gently it will auto find and mark most of the edges so keep on doing this until you get back from where you begin let's do it real quick Now we just finished the marking, now go to the selection menu and modify, then choose feather. Now make the feather radius to 1.5 pixels. This will help you to smooth the image rough edges. Now go to edit menu and click on cut. Now you can see we just cut the image from its normal background. Now you're gonna wanna create a new project with the transform background and paste this image. Now go to the files and choose save as. Now you can name it whatever you want and then just save it as PNG or you can simply paste the image directly to the thumbnail project as well now let's drag and drop the editor image to the thumbnail project or you can import the image file as well by going here but I usually use the drag and drop method now scale this image size a little bit if you press and hold shift key while scaling your image proportions stay same and then move the image to the right place then right click on the image and choose place now your image is placed. If you want to reposition or move any layer after placing it, whether text, shapes or even your backgrounds, just go to the layer section and select the layer you want to move. And just move the object by click and hold.
Okay, now let's get back to the Photoshop and I will show you a couple of other methods to make it even attractive and eye-catching. And I don't want you to jet this particular thumbnail which we're doing right now. Actually, I don't even consider it as a thumbnail for my videos. I just wanted to show you how I make these thumbnails, just the methods. So my point is, learn these techniques and make thumbnails using your own imaginations. Now let's move on to some other things. You can add more images to make your thumbnail look even better or you can brand your thumbnail by adding your channel logo to it it will help your viewers to find your content more faster I will show you an example first let's create a shape here for that choose a color and then go to the shape tool and this time I'm gonna pick the line tool press and hold the shift button while drawing it will help you to draw more steady click outside of the frame then draw a line straight to the end in a 60 degree angle and then select the paint bucket from here and click inside the shape now you can see it just look like a triangle on the corner now now click on select the layer, right click on it and choose blending options. Let's make it a little bit transparent. Go to opacity and reduce it a little bit until it's look good. Ok let's stop here. Now go to the logo image location and drag your logo to the thumbnail project. You can scale the logo to make it look bigger or smaller as you prefer. Then move it on to the triangle and place it like this. Now I will show you how to change your thumbnail background using your brush tool. Actually I don't recommend to use brush tool on this particular thumbnail because I like it this way but sake of the tutorial I will show you how to do it in real quick click on the brush tool then pick an appropriate brush from here on the brush preset picker you know what the default photoshop brushes are literally sucks so I recommend you to go to this website which is photoshop.cc and download an awesome brush you want they have a huge library of photoshop brushes browse and download an appropriate brush so I will show you an example for example let's get this brush just place your mouse over it and you will see these buttons just click on the green button now you can see the brush preset is downloading once it finished go to the download location and extract it and then double click on the brush file that's it now your brush preset is installed so let's go to the brush preset picker again and see if it's there or not scroll all the way down yeah it's here select the brush and adjust the brush size then go and pick a color now just draw the brush by clicking inside the background I know it's becoming a mess, just only learn the method and don't mind the way I'm doing this right now. See it's working perfectly. Now when you think you finish editing your background, the next thing is to save your thumbnail. For that go to the file and choose save as and name your thumbnail whatever you want then choose an output format as you wish. I usually make out my thumbnail to a PNG file and in rare case I use JPG and I also save them to a Photoshop ready to edit file which is PSD file type. Now I'm choosing the PNG file because it's more web friendly than the JPG. So let's save it as PNG. Browse and choose your location. Let's choose desktop for this time then click on save. That's how you can create an eye catching thumbnail for your YouTube videos. So we have thousands of free brushes, fonts and images out there to create a wide variety of custom thumbnails for our YouTube videos. And for all that, we only want to do is learn these techniques and put your incredible imagination upon them. Then you can create amazing eye-catching and awesome thumbnails for your YouTube videos. And I forgot to say something. This video is requested by one of our loyal subscribers, Mr. Rafin Chowdhury. Thank you Rafin for suggesting this video. Keep it up the amazing support. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you found my video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share for more related videos coming soon and also feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions, queries or suggestions. Don't mind if it's even a criticism, I can take it. This is Amal Rafi from Geeks Tutorial and see you guys in the next one. Peace out!